and three Texas Roadhouse students tailgate behind the ticket that is part of today's game. Be sure you see my beach, plus the cards, and get free access to delicious Texas Roadhouse food. Our free student tailgate is brought to you in part by Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse, eat, smile, repeat.
now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your 2019 Junior Eagles Spirit Team under the direction of Mrs. Christy Bowen and assisted by Carissa Williams and Bailey McReynolds. The Junior Eagles consist of Mary Beth Williams, Elizabeth Smith, Lily Howard, Peyton Howard, Isabella Knight, Adriana Knight, Khalees Ramos, Riley Young, and Myla Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the Parson Newman Junior Eagle Spirit Team. Ladies and gentlemen, led on to the field by drum major Noah Faber, please welcome your 2019 Parchman and University Marching Eagles. The Marching Eagles are in the direction of Professor Pat Bivens and Dr. Jeremy Taylor. Band assistants are percussion instructor Mr. Matthew Wire, majorette instructor the famous Miss Autumn Jackson.
On the footsteps of the Great Smoky Mountains, Burktar Stadium is the site of this afternoon's battle between the Carson Newman Eagles and your UNC Pembroke Braves, a non-conference matchup here on a perfect Saturday afternoon in Jefferson City, Tennessee. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here in the UNCP Sports Network. John Gross coming to you live from Burktar Stadium where the Carson Newman Marching Band currently on the fields, just about 15 or so minutes from kickoff on uh, today's pregame show. Plenty to talk about. We'll recap both team seasons to date, plus had a chance to chat with UNC Pembroke head football coach Shane Richardson leading up to today's matchup, and we'll get his thoughts on what his side has to do to take down the Eagles. It's two and two UNC Pembroke against two and one Carson Newman here in Jefferson City. Temperatures at a very comfortable 84 degrees. Certainly a little bit cooler than it's been the last few days uh, around the southeast. Not too humid. And not much of a breeze. UNC Pembroke enters today 2-2, two and two, coming off of a loss to Limestone last week. Carson Newman coming off of a 42-7 victory against UVA Wise. And they are 2 and 1. We'll send things down to the fields as the presentation of our nation's colors now underway. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day you've given us, and thank you for all the people who can come out, come out to watch the game today. Thank you for the opportunity that you've blessed these athletes with. Uh, let them play to the best of their ability to glorify you. Uh, pray for the player protection today and wisdom for the coaches. We'll all be doing your will for this game. Uh, and all be glorified to your name. In your name I pray. Amen. Back here at Burktar Stadium, John Gross here for the UNCP Sports Network. About 11 minutes away from kickoff between the Eagles of Carson Newman University and the UNCP Braves. Let's break things down a little bit. As we mentioned before, UNCP enters today 2-2, two and two, Carson Newman 2-1. Two and one. And this is an Eagles squad, one of the top programs in the region They've had plenty of success this season. Their one loss this year was a 30-28 heartbreaker at Wingate. Wingate ranked number 19th in the country. It was a game that the Eagles were shut out in the second half. They put up 28 points in the first half. All four of their touchdowns were passing touchdowns, and that may not sound that far-fetched for most teams, but for Carson Newman, it certainly is. This is an offense that certainly does not throw the ball very much. Head coach Mike Turner in his third season, but 35th season overall with the program. He runs the vaunted Veer option offense. Difficult to stop. Think Nebraska under Tom Osborne. Think the service academies, that triple option. They'll run it with a quarterback under center, split backs behind him, and it's very difficult to stop. One of the top rushing offenses in the nation. And in fact, that has been one of the difficulties for UNC Pembroke this season, stopping the run. 
The Eagles enter third in the country in rushing yards per game. And again, UNCP has struggled to stop that. 295 yards per game on the ground for the home side. The Braves, you look back earlier this season, week two against Virginia State. They gave up 394 yards on the ground. You fast forward the next week, though, against Catawba, much better, holding Catawba College to just 109 yards. And if you look at this matchup, that certainly is the key. If the Braves are able to force Carson Newman to throw the football, they'll certainly have an opportunity in this one today. So, with about nine minutes to go, let's hear what UNCP head coach Shane Richardson had to say earlier this week about today's matchup. Okay. Um, how's your team respond to this week during practice? Well, it's a great challenge for us, and um, we've, we've had a lot of really good messages and communication, and uh, I really like that the tempo is high, and um, I like the intensity and the urgency to ready to play this game. Um, they obviously have a different offense than you'll typically see running that veer option. How do you prepare for, for an offense like that? Yeah, you have to uh, really look at what they do schematically and see how you've got to do things different and better. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something where defensively you've got to come up with a good game plan. And uh, certainly there's techniques that we've got to change and work on and uh, try to master for this week. And, you know, we know that they're a heavy run team, so we've got to focus on that. And so uh, we've been working hard on all three levels of the defense to make sure that uh, we're kind of practicing that way. And last weekend you gave up eight plays of 20 or more yards. Has that been something you've really keyed in on this week, trying to limit those big plays? Absolutely. We've uh, definitely emphasized that. We've um, talked about how important it is to not allow those big plays to happen, you know, just all at once. And, you know, we got to make offenses earn it. And, um, you know, that's definitely going to be a, a priority for this week's game. All right. Thank you, Coach. Best of luck. Thank you, John. As Coach Richardson just mentioned during that interview, certainly important for UNCP to shore things up defensively, really at all three levels, though. It will have to be a team effort today, especially with the veer option offense. A triple option, pretty much every single play that they'll run offensively uh, for the Eagles, and it's up to the Braves' defense to stop them. It certainly will be a tough task for them, but they've practiced this week and in the offseason as well to shut down this Carson Newman offense for UNCP. They are looking to take down the Eagles for the first time in a little while. In fact, Carson Newman at, in ho at home in non-conference matchups, they're 18 and four over the last decade. One of those four losses was to UNCP. Back in 2011, it was on homecoming as well. That was the last time UNCP won here at Burke Tar Stadium. The Braves trail the all-time series record four to two in favor of Carson Newman. And it's an Eagles team that you look back to last season, they return most of their team from last year. They went seven and four last season, four and three in conference play, uh, tied for third, and, and they were predicted preseason to finish tied for third in the sack as well. Really their biggest loss to Morris Coates, linebacker was first team all conference. Otherwise they bring pretty much everyone back and most notably Antonio Winbush. An All-American last year, two-time All-First Team, two-time All-Conference selection, and quite the story as well. He is one of just 10 Carson Newman players ever to eclipse the 3,000 rushing yard mark. And in 2017, he was out for this season, tore his ACL and meniscus, able to bounce back last year, put together a very impressive season, an All-American season and in doing so was named the Mayo Clinic Comeback Player of the Year and is one of the most dangerous players in D2 college football. In fact, he enters today just 52 rushing yards away from making his way into ninth place in the Carson Newman all-time rushing record. Other players to look out for for the Eagles, their quarterback, Derek Evans, predominantly will run the football. He's only thrown the ball 32 times this season, but he's been pretty efficient. 18 of 32 through the air six touchdowns and just two interceptions. He is also the leading rusher for Carson Newman and his favorite target this season has been a sophomore, the transfer from James Madison, Braxton Westfield, the 6'4 sophomore, enters today just six catches in the season, but 227 receiving yards, four of his six touchdowns, four of his six catches have gone for touchdowns. In fact, his last four receptions have been touchdowns. He averages 
over 37 yards per reception, and that leads all levels of collegiate football in yards per catch. He's just shy of 38 yards per reception. To be exact, it's 37.83. So if they are going to throw the football today, if UNCP is able to shut down the rushing attack of the Braves, look out for Braxton Westfield. With that, we'll take a quick break here on the UNCP Sports Network. When we get back, kickoff between Carson Newman and your UNC Pembroke Braves here from Burke Tar Stadium. You're listening to Braves Football on the UNCP Sports Network. Mm-mm. Bojangles, Cajun filet biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddary pimento cheese on our Cajun Spice Chicken. It's perfecter. Bojangles. It's bow time, bro. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. UNCP lining up on the far corner of the left end zone. Braves getting set to run out onto the field. Captains are out at midfield right now, and we'll let the officials run the show. UNC has won the toss and will receive. So as you just heard, our head referee today just mentioned UNCP has won the toss. They elect to receive, and that's been a strong suit for UNC Pembroke this season. They have scored first in all four games this year, and they'll look to keep that trend going today. And they haven't scored on their first drive in all four games, but they have been the first team to put up any sort of points in all four games. Two and two, UNCP versus two and one, Carson Newman. The Braves last year fell 34 to 13 at home against Carson Newman. It was a ball game heading into the fourth. Braves trailed by just seven, 20 to 13, heading into the final frame. But the second half and the fourth quarter in particular proved to be difficult for UNCP. They were outgained in the second half, 268 to 64. And in the fourth quarter alone, Carson Newman racked up 179 yards and held UNC Pembroke to just eight yards. The Braves obviously will look to do better than that today. Should be a good one. Carson Newman in their blue jerseys with white letters and with orange letters and white numbers, orange pants and an orange helmet with a blue and white stripe down at the middle. UNCP rocking their new road uniforms this year. All white top and white bottoms with gold letters and numbers, black trim, and their black helmets with a stripe down the middle. Devin Jones back deep to receive for UNCP to get things started here from Burke Tar Stadium in Jefferson City, Tennessee. It's Nate Kraft, the freshman kicker on to boot this away. Devin Jones 
his heels at the one yard line. Kraft looks right, now left, approaches the football and from the 35, boots it deep. Jones backpedals about five yards into the end zone and uh -huh. takes a knee, kind of hesitated there, but he does take a knee. So UNCP will start with it at their own 25. We're gonna look at Josh Jones, the sophomore QB who has made tremendous strides as the signal caller for UNC Pembroke. 60% completion percentage, five touchdowns to just one pick but he's going up against a really tough pass defense. We'll see what he is able to do, holding opponents to just 134 passing yards per game. This Carson Newman defense. Five receivers set, trips far side, two near side. Jones in the gun from his own 25. Attacking right to left. Jones looks, floats it downfield, so along the near sideline, overshot Tyshawn Carter, who got absolutely level to see elevated for that ball. And it's incomplete. Demarcus Jones laid the lumber, second down and ten. Braves go no huddle. UNCP attacking right to left in the near hash mark. We'll see Josh Sheridan for the first time tonight. Jones steps up to the line. Two far side, one near side. Sheridan lined up behind Jones in the pistol. Sam Vines to the right of Josh Jones. Second and ten, handoff along the right side of the line. Sheridan tries to cut it up the middle and powers forward for about three. Third down and seven. Wyclef Fenor, the 6'3 junior. On the tackle, that's his fifth tackle of this season. The Braves will have their first third down of the afternoon. They are converting at a very efficient 47%. But this one, they need seven yards to move the chains. Again, empty set for UNCP. Trips near side, too far side. Braves attacking right to left. Jones from the far hash. Steps up to the line. Checks to the sideline. Now resets with four to snap it. Three, two, one. Gets it off. Jones looks right. Floats it in traffic. Knocked away. But there is a flag that comes out. And coverage was Darius Williams' pass intended for Trey Dixon, and it looks like we might have defensive pass interference. Pass interference, defense, number seven. Ball will be placed in the spot of the foul, automatic first down. So head referee, Jim Ellis. Indicates pass interference on Darius Williams, senior safety, one of the top defensive players in the SAC. 2017 All-American, first team all-conference. Experienced player back there, getting penalized. That's 15 yards for UNCP up to the 36, and it's a fresh set of downs. Quay three motions into the near slot, two near side, one far side, inside give up the middle for UNCP. Falling forward is Sam Vines, and he's tripped up by Presley at the 39. Gain of three for UNCP. Braves looking to stay ahead of the sticks here. Keep things moving forward, get that rushing attack going. Josh Sheridan back in for the Braves. Couple changes as Jalen Nixon checks in at tight end to the left of the line. One receiver on each side. Seven on the line for UNCP. Sheridan to Jones is right in the gun. Play fake. Jones floats it over the middle. Completed just shy of midfield. That'll move the chains. That's a first down to Tyshawn Carter. Leading receiver for UNCP this sec this season. Just held in his 17th catch of the year. Had a seven catch, 84 yard outing last week against Limestone. And Jones finds his favorite target early to move the chains. Second first down of this drive for UNCP. Up to their own 49. Braves attacking right to left. Scoreless here in the first quarter, 13 minutes to go, clock ticking. Marcus McDonald motions into the far slot. Jones straight drop, looks over the middle, hits in stride. And that is a first down pickup of 12 to Marcus McDonald. McDonald, his ninth catch of the year. That's his first catch since week one that has gone for positive yardage. That's six catches, 66 yards against Winston-Salem State. And Josh Jones, again, able to move the chains through the air. 
Trips far side, lone receiver near side is Carter. Jones in the shotgun, Sheridan offset to his right, gets the defense to jump, no flag, and a flag does come out. Jones takes the shot, far side, towards the end zone, leaping, and it's batted away by Darius Williams, but it'll be offsides on Carson Newman, and we'll repeat first down. Offside, defense, five yard penalty, still first down. First and five now for UNCP, so second penalty on the Carson Newman defense on this opening drive. And last week, UNCP was able to get Limestone to jump offside a few times. So the Braves finding success on the hard count. First and five, 12 16 to go, first quarter. Still scoreless. Jones steps up to the line. Tam Zero Sec checks in his first appearance of the game along the near side. One receiver far side. Sec now in motion towards the far side. Sheridan to the right of Josh Jones in the shotgun. First and five, Jones rolls out to his right. Eyes up downfield, completed to Sec. Tiptoeing along the far sideline, up to the 28, Carson Newman. And that will move the chains. Another first down for UNCP, up to the 27-yard line of Carson Newman. It's a brave drive that started at their own 25. UNCP, the benefactors of a Darius Williams Pass interference call on third down and seven to keep the drive alive. Now it's first and 10, 11.53 to go, clock ticking. Scoreless in the opening frame. Queen three motions to the near slot, two near side, one far side. Jones stacking to her left from the far hash. Straight drop, Sheridan picks up the blitz. Jones lofts it to the right corner towards the end zone. Intended for Carter, overshot him. There was safety help over the top and it's incomplete second and 10. Braves looking to keep the trend of scoring first in all of their games this season. Sam Vines in at running back. Sheridan hustles over to the sideline. McDonald's near side. Far side is Trey Dixon with Quaint three to the far slot. Jalen Nixon on the near side. Now three motions near side. Two near side, one far side. Second down and 10 from the Carson Newman 27. Inside give to Vines, lowers his shoulder. And he is dragged down by a slew of Carson Newman defenders. Montel Presley, the first one on contact. Two-time all-conference selection for the six-foot, 290 senior defensive tackle in football while it runs in his family. Four cousins played in the NFL. His dad played at Ole Miss. Most notably, he's cousins with Warren Sapp, one of the best to ever do it on the defensive line. And his tackle makes it third down and long for the UNCP offense. No gain to the run for Vines. Third and 10. 11 minutes to go in the first quarter. Still scoreless here in the opening drive. Some late shuffling both offensively and defensively. Jones from the 28. Gives it to Sheridan on third and 10. Sheridan spun down about a yard shy. Inside carry picks up nine for the senior out of Lumberton. Now a decision for UNCP. Hunter Braswell, he's three for three on field goals this season, but only a freshman. And the Braves just a yard away from moving the chains. They're going to go for it. Both Fahim Diab and Jalen Nixon checking in. 12 personnel for UNCP. They'll go two receivers near side. McDonald and Dixon in the near slot. With Sheridan lined up behind Jones in the pistol. Fourth in a yard. Jones steps up to the line. Has four to snap it. Ten minutes to go in the opening quarter. Braves have a fourth and one. They go to Sheridan up the gut. Pushing forward, this will be close. Needed to get up to the 17. Looks like he was at the 17. Braves players indicating first down. Might need a measurement. And it's a first down. No measurement needed, so UNCP again converting on third down. As we touched on before, they entered today a very efficient 47% on third downs this season. Under 10 minutes to go, scoreless between UNCP and Carson Newman. Rayshon Griffin, his first appearance into the game for the Braves. Jackson at running back, lines up to the right of Josh Jones. Braves attacking to our left from the far hash, first and 10 at the 17. Trips near side, one far side. Jones, straight drop, looks to throw. Time, now pressured, lops it near corner to the end zone for three. 
and it's through his hands, just a little bit out of his reach. That's a second and 10. Jones, a little slow to get up. It's like a shot as that ball was coming out. Justin Triplett was coming with the pressure. He's a little limpy right now. Favoring his left leg. He looks over to the sideline. Some confusion for UNCP. They have just 12 seconds to snap it. They're still substituting players in. Might have to take a timeout here. Eight seconds to go. They'll go two far side, one near side. Three to snap for UNCP. Griffin to the right of Jones, and UNCP will have to burn a timeout. Shane Richardson timeout. takes UNCP his first timeout first of this timeout. first half. It's been a really good drive so far for the Braves, converting on a couple of third downs. Still scoreless here in the opening quarter. 9.30 to go, UNCP against Carson Newman. Some stats in this opening drive. Josh Jones, three for six, 29 yards. Josh Sheridan, three for three carries, 13 yards. Braves, 45 yards on this opening drive. 16 rushing yards, and on third downs, they've been able to get things going. So fourth down conversion of the run by Sheridan, and then the defensive pass interference on the third down, which really sparked this drive. UNCP had a third and seven deep in their own territory. Now they're on 28, but a defensive pass interference penalty called by Darius Williams. Kept the drive going. Braves break the huddle out of the timeout. Second and 10 for UNCP. McDonald, the lone receiver near side. Two far side for the Braves. Jones between the hash marks and the shotgun. Griffin to his right, Nixon on the left side of the line at H-back. Second and 10, not the 17. Jones gives it up the middle to Griffin, breaks out of one tackle, then is dragged down from behind. No gain on the run by Griffin. Daniel Dixon Brooks on the tackle, the transfer from Newberry. That's a third down and 10. UNCP, they're one of just 10 teams in the country to score on all of their trips into the red zone. They're 14 for 14. They started this set of down to the 17. They'll look to keep that streak going. 11 of their 14 trips have resulted in touchdowns. Under nine minutes to go in the first quarter. Scoreless here from Burke Tar Stadium. Jones in the shotgun, third and 10. Play fake, steps up, pressured over the middle. Completed to Fahim Diab down to the 11-yard line. That's a gain of six, not enough for a first down. Another fourth down opportunity for UNCP and Shane Richardson seems to be keeping the offense out there. Braves one for one on fourth down conversions today. There were three for seven entering today. So now four for eight on fourth downs. Now a late change for UNCP. They have 13 seconds to snap it. Sean Brown hustles in. They go too far side, too near side. Five to snap for the Braves. Fourth and four from the Carson Newman 11. Jones looks right, fires completed to Quay three. Inside the 10 up to the five yard line and that's another fourth down conversion for UNCP on this opening drive. Now two for two on fourth downs and they have a first and goal at the five. Braves bring in their jumbo set. They'll go two tight ends, two running backs, and now huddle up for the first time offensively. They've taken up about half of this first quarter. 7.30 to go in the first frame. Pistol set for Jones. Sheridan behind him. Handoff extended along the left side. Stutter steps, falls forward, maybe got a half a yard. Alonzo Houston and Dixon Brooks on the stop for the Eagles. Second and goal at the four. Braves will spread things out now. Four receivers set. McDonald, three, and Brown top to bottom on the far side. Near side is Carter. Second and goal at the four. Jones keeps on the read option and is tripped up in the backfield. Nicholas Owens, the freshman 
That's his fourth tackle for loss on this season. Third a goal now after the loss of three. Back at the seven, the Braves try to put things in the end zone. Sean Brown heads to the sideline. Jalen Nixon, the tight end for UNCP, hustles in. Approaching the six minute mark in this first quarter, UNCP chewing off plenty of time and they'll look for Pater. Third and goal at the seven. Jones play action, rolls to his right and his throw a little underthrown to Nixon, able to make the catch at the four. Gain of three, now it's fourth and goal. And UNCP will hustle out the field goal unit. The Braves able to get a couple of fourth down conversions successfully, but with less room to operate here this deep in Carson Newman territory, we'll see Hunter Braswell, his fourth field goal attempt of the season, three for three in the year. The freshman has a long at 34. This will be his first field goal attempt since week two against Virginia State. Isaac Parks to hold, Ray Sean Griffin will snap it. 21 yarder to get UNCP on the board. Good snap, good hold, kick from the lefty is up and through and UNCP strikes first for the fifth time this season. They have scored first in all five of their games. Three nothing UNCP as they march down field. 5.28 to go here in the first quarter. One drive, three points for the Braves. We'll take a quick break here on the UNCP Sports Network. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn. An ally working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner, recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health Nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. An 18-play, 71-yard drive that chews off 9 minutes and 32 seconds of clock is capped off by a 21-yard field goal by the freshman Hunter Braswell and UNC Pembroke takes an early lead, 3-0 over the Carson Newman Eagles. Now we'll see the Eagles offense for the first time today. Two back deep to receive for Carson Newman. Braswell kicking right to left. This ball teed up at the 35. The lefty approaches. The ball boots it away. A low squib kick. Takes a hop. Received by the up back. Trevor Makarov, the tight end, marches his way to the 38-yard line. And that's where this veer option, triple option offense of Carson Newman will set up shot at the 38-yard line, one of the most prolific rushing offenses in all of college football. They rank third in the nation in Division II at yards per game on the ground, picking up 295 per game. Split back set. Winbush to the left of Evans under center. Two receivers far side, one near side. In the backfield for Carson Newman is Marcus Williams to the right of Evans and the reigning All-American Antonio Winbush to the left. They give it to Winbush up the middle. Winbush powers forward to the 42-yard line, gain of four yards, second down and six. No huddle offense for Carson Newman. Second and six, again split back as they pause. Now look over to the sideline. Mike Turner calls the plays. He's the head coach, his 35th season in this program. A Carson Newman alumni, his third year as the head man. Evans settles in under center at their own 43 yard line. Three nothing UNCP, they go with a dive. No, oh, it's handed off to Winbush who lowers his shoulder and makes his way across midfield to the Brave 47. Pickup of 10 on the carry for Antonio Wimbush, and this is something that Carson Newman will look to focus on today, and really throughout this season. Get Antonio Wimbush going. He's third of the team in rushing to this point. And certainly with his talent, Mike Turner has talked about it. He wants to get his team, his star player, the ball more. They're gonna throw it as Evans rolls left, lofts it downfield, pass intended for Romaine Kelly, and great coverage by Sean Everett as the pass is incomplete. A rare throw, just the 33rd passing attempt on the season. 
for Carson Newman's senior QB. 3-0 Braves, 4-13 to go in the first quarter. Wimbush under center, excuse me, Evans under center. Wimbush split back to his left with Marcus Williams angled to his right. Two receivers far side, tight end to the near side. They give it to Wimbush along the near side of the field and he is upended at the 41 of the Braves. Carries for six, third down and a manageable three. This is what Carson Newman does. They get it to manageable third down situations. And their third down offense is prolific because they're able to get to that point, so close to the six. They're 14th in the country on third down conversions at 51%. They stretch it out to Wimbush in the near sideline. Wimbush to the 20, 15-10, shoved out of bounds by Cam Cauldron. 31-yard rush for Antonio Wimbush. That's a first down for Carson Newman up to the nine. The market is 32 officially, three nothing Braves, but the Eagles marching deep on a couple of big run plays. Wimbush, four carries, 53 yards this far in the opening drive. Split back to the left of Evans, under center, Williams to his right, one receiver far side. They give it again to Wimbush on the right side of the line, spinning out of one tackle, breaking another attempt by Amari Bryce Green, and he swarmed down at the three, carries for about six. Led by number 34, Amari Bryce Green. Second and goal at the four. 2.50 to go in the first quarter. It's 3-0 UNCP. The Braves took off over nine minutes of clock on their opening drive. Second and goal, tight end in motion to the left of the line. They'll give it to Williams this time on the left side. Williams lowers the shoulder, powers forward into the end zone. Touchdown, Carson Newman. Four yard rushing score. And the Eagles take the lead, 6-3, with 2.27 to go in the first quarter. Second rushing touchdown of the season for Williams, as the senior puts the Eagles on the board. Nate Kraft on for the extra point. Drew Udy the holder, Kraft a perfect 12 for 12 on point after attempts this season. The snap from Dawson Campbell is bobbled, and Udy is brought down as he could not put it down. Braves special teams able to make a play, and a mistake for Carson Newman. Works to UNCP's favorite, six to three, and we'll take immediate timeout. Eagles in front, 2.27 to go here in the first quarter. This is UNCP football on the UNCP Sports Network. Don't just throw a tailgate. Own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's... Bo a nurse at Scotland Health is... A healer, touching patients' lives at every turn. An ally, working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health Nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. Eagles on the board, courtesy of a four yard rushing score by Marcus Williams. The senior running back gives his Carson Newman side a 6-3 lead, 2.27 to go here in the first quarter. This game started just 24 minutes ago. Both teams running some clock. UNCP had a nine and a half minute drive to start the game, ended on a field goal. Devin Jones heels on the goal line as Nate Kraft steps up and the ball falls off the tee. He'll have to spot it back up. Sixty two rushing yards on that first drive for Carson Newman, fifty eight of them. Courtesy of Antonio Wimbush. This time kick end over end, right down the middle 
through the end zone. Devin Jones taking about nine yards deep in his end zone, and he calls for a fair catch. And Kraft is quite the leg. He had a couple offers from some D1 schools, ULM, Marshall, Arizona, New Mexico State, but he's made his way down to Carson Newman, and just as a freshman, he's made an impact. So two freshman kickers in this one. If this one could come down to a field goal, certainly might get interesting. We'll see the Braves' offense for the second time today. UNCP trails it by three. 2.27 to go in the first quarter. Josh Jones in the pistol. Sheridan lined up behind him. Tight set to the line, two near side, two far side. Braves for the first and 10 of their own 25 from the near hash mark going right to left. Jones hands off to the left side of the line. It's Quad Williams, his first touch of the game, is buried at the line of scrimmage. No gain, second and 10. Rob Williams on the stop. The backup defensive tackle for the Eagles. Second and 10, two minutes to go in the first quarter. Braves with it at their own 25. Two receivers far side, one near side, McDonald's. As Fahim Diab splits over to the right side of the line at tight ends. Jones, design roll out to the right. Pumps once, looks, fires, hits Quay 3 over at the 28. He's dragged down by Farrell. And Desmond Farrell able to limit the catch out the yards after reception. Gain of four for UNCP, second and six. Third and six for UNCP. Quad Williams to the right at Josh Jones. Trips near side, bunched together. Diaba the right side of the line for UNCP. Third and six, Braves trail it by a field goal a minute to go in the first quarter. Jones tried to get the defense to jump, they didn't bite. They bring the heat. Completed to Quay three and at the 35, makes his way to the 40, and a flag comes in from the back official. This could be a targeting call. It's first down yardage for UNCP. If the play stands, it's a gain of 12 from Josh Jones to Quay 3. But the Braves offense making their way back towards the original line of scrimmage. There was a hit on three. Passing the difference. Number four on the offense, blocking downfield. 15 yard penalty. Still second first down. Marcus McDonald flagged third for that one. Correction. And the penalty will take things back, make it third down once again. First penalty of the game for UNCP. Braves trail six to three, 101 to go in the first quarter. But Josh Jones early on looking pretty good against. A really good secondary. They have the 12th best pass defense in the country. Jones, this is the second top 20 passing defense he's faced this year. The other, Winston-Salem State. He was 21 for 35 against the Rams, 180 yards. But now is a tough task. Third and 21 for UNCP. Back to their own 14 after the offensive pass interference. Jones with time, now pressured, rolls right. And he angles it towards Quad Williams, who was taken down as the ball was making his way towards him. And this should be a defensive pass interference. Quad Williams pointing towards the Eagles players. Happened along the far sideline, and it would have only gotten the Braves about seven yards. Would have been well short of the first down. Personal foul, face mask, defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Personal foul penalty, an automatic first down for UNCP. That's another bailout penalty by Carson Newman, but the Braves will take it. Second time today that the Braves have had a defensive, inter defensive penalty on a third down and relatively long that's kept this Braves drive going. So it's a first down for UNCP. They add 15 to their spot up to the 29. Braves going right to left. And they're all white uniforms. One receiver far side, three near side. Quad Williams to the right of Josh Jones in the shotgun. Jones steps up to the line now, retreats, heels at his own 25. Raves down by three, 39 seconds to go in the first. Bubble screen to the near side. McDonald's hauls it in, 
And the blocking just was not there. He's finished off by Daniel Dixon Brooks. And as the clock continues to tick towards zero here in the opening quarter. Goes down as a loss of about a half yard for UNCP. We'll chalk it up as second and 11. Braves scored to their opening drive with a field goal, and Carson Newman responded a touchdown. And with five seconds to go, clock taken away, UNCP will take things into the second quarter with a second down 11, trailing 6-3 to three here from Burke Tar Stadium. We'll take a quick break with them. Second quarter coming up after this quick break. This is UNC Pembroke football here on the UNCP Sports Network. Don't just throw a tailgate. Own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. Welcome back in to Burke Tar Stadium in Jefferson City, Tennessee. Carson Newman leading your UNC Pembroke Braves by the score of 6-3. to three. Teams will switch sides. Braves now attacking left to right. They have a second down 11 as we get things started in the second quarter. Five receivers set for Josh Jones from his own 29. Three down linemen for the visiting for the home Eagles. Trips near side, too far side. And second 11, Jones looks over the middle. Time worked out of the pocket to his right, and he is dragged down back at the 15-yard line. Antonio Henderson, his first sack of the season. And the Braves backed up deep. Loss of 13 yards. Third down and 24. Braves down by a field goal. Jones had time, but great coverage downfield by Carson Newman prevented him from finding any options. 10 personnel for UNCP. Josh Sheridan to the right of Josh Jones in the shotgun, his own 16. It's the third and 24, 14 and a half to go in the second quarter. Jones looks left side. Completed to Sean Brown at the 25. Spins out of one tackle. Brown extending to the 30. And that brings him up to the original line of scrimmage, fourth. And 10 UNCP will have to punt for the first time today. They regain that 13 yards that they lost on the sack. We'll see Isaac Parks, the All American punter for the Braves. Ranks third in Division II football in yards per punt, 45.6. Desmond Farrell back deep to receive. Spiraling kick towards the left sideline. Takes it for two at his bounce for UNCP. Up to the 28 yard line. And that's where the Eagles will have the ball to start off their second drive of the game. Their first drive. Started at the 38, able to march all the way downfield. A 62-yard drive, the four-yard rushing touchdown by Marcus Williams. It leads six to three, 13, 49 to go in this first half. After the 43-yard punt from Isaac Parks, it's a first and 10. Eagles going right to left from the far hash mark, Evans. Peeks over to the near sideline, settles under center, split back set, one receiver on each side of the formation. Evans gives it up the middle to Williams, bulldozes forward to the 37, and that's a gain of nine. Dragged down by number 51, and that is 
Second in the yard. And this is something that the Eagles did very well last week against UVAY's first down rushes. Average just shy of 10 yards per carry on first down to give again to Williams. Goes across the 40 up to the 41. That's another first down for Carson Newman. Camp Cauldron in the stop for the Braves. UNC trails six to three. First down carry for the Eagles. Too far side. McCarrow to the right of the line at tight end. Split back set with Evans under center. Dive up the middle with space up to the 40 yard line is Dandy. Gain of 21, Jace Allen on the tackle saved a touchdown. Troy Dendy, the freshman halfback on the carry for Carson Newman. Another big run for the Eagles. They already lead 6-3, 12-20 to go in the second quarter. And a first down and 10 for the Braves, 39. Evans under center, offensive line gets set, play action. Evans looking to throw, rolls out to his left, has an open man at the 30, and he overshot Romaine Kelly, incomplete Mike Clark in coverage. Second and 10. Second passing attempt today for Carson Newman. Westfield, Braxton Westfield, the star wide receiver for this team, he broke open from the near sideline, a post route over the middle. There was no safety help over the top, but luckily for UNCP, Evans was flushed to his right, couldn't see him. Second and 10. Too far side, Kelly far side, far slot Westfield. And the give along the left side of the line up to the 35, gain of four to Toot Johnson. Second in rushing yards this season for Carson Newman. The sophomore back, he was injured late last season, but he's averaging over five yards a tote this season. Third down and relatively long for Carson Newman standards. They have it at the 35 yard to gain the 29. Third and six. Evans under center, steps away from the line, looks to the near side as does the rest of his offense. Four down lineman for UNCP. Braves trail it by three, 11 and a half to go in the second. Extended to Williams up the middle. The fullback dive gets him over the 29, falling forward to the 26. That's a first down carry for Carson Newman. Eagles chugging away. Drive that started in their own territory, ready up to the UNCP 26. From the far hash mark going right to left. Hand off up the middle, good play at the line of scrimmage. Devin Cowan, the tackle. As Winbush had nowhere to go. Probably the best defensive play we've seen from UNCP so far in terms of stop of the run. No Adonai Aloma for UNCP defensive end spot. So Ben Jaramillo got the start opposite Devin Cowan. Second and nine, Winbush gives up the middle and dragging forward to the 15, Antonio Winbush of uh, the handoff from Evans moves the chains. That's a physical run by the running back. Up to the 15, another first down. That's a gain of 11 for Carson Newman. First and 10 of the 15, Eagles lead six to three. 10, 15 to go in the second quarter. Clock rolling, split back set for the Eagles. From the near hash mark, Westfield near side, far side Kelly. With Dendy and Williams lined up, split back behind Evans. They go to Dendy and he stumbles as soon as he got the exchange, falls forward up to the 12, gain of three. Second and seven. Nine forty-five to go. Clock ticking in this opening quarter. Second and six. Again, Dendy and Williams slip back behind Evans. Peeks over towards the sideline. Two receivers far side. No safety help over the top for UNCP. Brave trail it by three. Second and second down from the twelve. Inside handoff. Dendy scoots into the end zone. Another rushing score for Carson Newman. Troy Dendy, the freshman. His third touchdown run of the season, and the Eagles 
Open up a two score lead, 12 to three, 921 to go after the 12 yard rush by the freshman back. First extra point attempt was unsuccessful as a low snap that Drew Udy had a difficult time fielding. As Kraft this time steps up, kick is up and true, 13 to three. Carson Newman leading the UNC Pembroke Braves, 9.20 to go here in this first half. Let's take a quick break here. We'll be back in 30 seconds on the UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. Don't just throw a tailgate, own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. Thirteen to three, Carson Newman in front with 9:21 to go in the second quarter. Happy to have you with us on the UNCP Sports Network. John Gross coming to you live from Burke Tar Stadium, capacity 6,500, at the footsteps of the Great Smoky Mountains here in Jefferson City, Tennessee. Temperatures in the low 80s. The Braves offense looking to heat up a little bit as well. Trying to find the end zone for the first time today. They did score first. They have now scored first in all five games this season. Kraft settles back at his own 28. Devin Jones back deep to receive for UNCP. It's been two kicks, two touchbacks. High end over end kick. Jones has it three yards deep. And Sam Vines encourages him to take a knee, which he will. Some extracurriculars after the whistles. Some pushing and shoving in the near side. Things being separated, though. So the Braves offense will start things off for the third time today at their own 25. Three touchbacks for the freshman Kraft. Josh Jones, 10 of 13. UNCP going to the air frequently in this first half. 73 yards. And efficiency, that's been the name of the game for Jones this season. Hasn't put up the biggest passing yardage numbers. Although last week, he did have a career high, 287 yards. But a lot of it has just been making the right reads, smart decisions, good strong throws. As he's completed over 60% of his pass attempts this season. Jones under center for the first time today. Sheridan lined up behind him. Offset eye, Sheridan breaks one, dragging the defender forward for a yard and a half up to the 27 yard line. Gain of about two, second and eight. Braves down 10, nine minutes to go in the second quarter. Three checks in for UNCP. He settles into the far slot. McDonald's lined up along the far sideline. Trey Dixon near side. Full house backfield. It's three now lined up to the left of Jones. Vine steps up at H back. Sheridan to the left to Josh Jones. Offset pistol. Three motions near slot. Second and eight. Handoff up the middle. Sheridan trying to get to the second level, but can't do so. This is a stout rush defense. And Sheridan picks up once. Third down and seven for UNCP's offense. Third and seven at the Carson Newman 28. Braves go three far side. One near side, Dixon the lone receiver. Sheridan, Jones is right. Jones hasn't thrown yet in this drive. He's 10 for 13 for the game. Third and seven, they bring the blitz. Jones airs it out down the near sideline. Dixon elevates and was too far out of bounds, incomplete. 
Jones took a shot as he got rid of that one. Not much time and not many options for the sophomore quarterback. And UNCP will have to punt it away for the second time this afternoon. And now Park is on for the apparent punt. Isaac Park said a 43 yarder earlier. This time kicking it from his own 28. Stands at his 13. End over end kick. Bounces at the 38. Takes a UNCP bounce. Rolling all the way down inside the 25 to the 23 yard line. So a good bounce for UNCP. Now we'll see if the Braves defense get a much needed stop. It's been two drives, two touchdowns, and one extra point for Carson Newman so far. Little to no resistant defensively just yet for the Braves defense. And we knew that would be an issue. It's been a UNCP side that struggled in run defense. And well, Carson Newman, their strength is rushing offense. Williams split back to the right of Evans under center with Winbush angles back to his left. Westfield near side, two tight ends in the right side of the line for Carson Newman. Lining up with the right hash, they'll go quarterback keeper up the middle. Jordan Howard had it sniffed out, gain of two up to the 27. The market of the 26, second and seven. Braves really loading the box. They have seven in there right now. Four down linemen, three linebackers. Both safeties pulled up within about eight yards of the line of scrimmage. Evans under center, second and seven. His own 26, speed option right side. No pitch, Evans runs out of real estate and is upended in the backfield. That's a loss of a yard. Great play by UNCP's defense. Devin Jones sheds a block, makes the tackle, and now a big third down and seven. Evans able to muster about a half yard after being hit behind the line of scrimmage initially. Three receivers set, two near side, one far side. Winbush split back to the left of Evans under center. Williams to his right. The lefty settles in, the senior quarterback Design bootleg to the left, fires downfield, has Westfield at the 38, shoved out of bounds by Yavel Morris. That's a first down completion up to the 39 yard line, gain of 13 for Carson Newman. That breaks Westfield's streak of four straight catches, four straight touchdowns. Westfield leads all levels of college football in yards per reception entering today. That one chucked up for 13 yards. First and 10 for the Eagles, who are now a perfect three for three, excuse me, four for four on third downs. 13 to three, Carson Newman in front with the football. Under six minutes to go. They have the type of offense that can really run out the clock in this first half. They go option right side. Evans keeps and is swarmed by UNCP's front seven. Jaramillo, Howard, and Tavereen, the three immediately there. Gain of a handful, second down and six. Five and a half to go in the second quarter. Braves defense, they've yet to stop Carson Newman's offense. Sharon Jackson split left. To Johnson to the right, and they give it to Jackson. Picks up three, cuts the distance in half, third down and three to go. Devin Higgins on the stop, the backup middle linebacker for UNCP. Devin Cowan heads to the sideline. Eagles going quickly. Third and three from their own 46 yard line. Evans checks over to Mike Turner on the sideline. Now settles in, two receivers far side. McCara up to the right of the line at tight end. Wimbush rolls to his right. He has nowhere to go and UNCP brings him down in the backfield. Fourth down, Dominique Davis, Tavereen in the vicinity. Evans rolled out to his right, looked to throw, had nowhere to go. And UNCP's defense gets the stop they needed. And now it's fourth and seven.
They grab doubles as the kicker and punter. Averages 40 yards per punt. Devin Jones deep to receive for UNCP. Stands at his own 20. Under four minutes to go, Braves trail it by 10. They'll get the football back. A high spiraling kick. Jones retreats to his own 10, lets it bounce, and luckily for the Braves, settles into the end zone. So UNCP will have it at their own 20. 3.49 to go in the first quarter, in the first half, excuse me. They trail it by 10. Braves got the ball to start the game, so it'll be Eagle football to start the second half. This is a crucial possession for UNC Pembroke if they're going to get back into this one. And keep in mind, last year as well, we touched on it in the pregame. It was a close game, 20-13, to 13, heading into the fourth. And then the UNCP offense just sputtered in that final frame. Only eight yards of offense in the fourth quarter last season. UNCP right now, though, trails it 13-3, to 3, 3.49 to go. One receiver each side of the formation. Sheridan to the left to Jones in the shotgun. First and 10 of their own 20. Up the middle to Sheridan. Levels forward for a gain of three, second out and seven. Seventh carry for Josh Sheridan has 20 yards. His longest rush was for nine. Diab on the left side of the line with Vines lined up behind him. Jones again gives to Sheridan, this time with space across the 30 to the 32, lays a punishing hit in the safety and falls forward to the 33-yard line. UNCP moves the chains. Gain of 10, longest run of the game for UNC Pembroke. As the clock takes under three minutes, Braves trail it by 10. Under 20 seconds to snap and plenty of time for UNCP's offense as they get situated. One receiver each side of the formation from the far hash mark going left to right. Play fake. Jones rolls left. He'll keep it himself. Tucks and runs. Pushed out of bounds by Dixon Brooks at the 39. Good run by Josh Jones. He has really shown off his mobility this season. Picks up six yards in the carry. Couple of rushing touchdowns last week. He has over 100 rushing yards on the season for UNCP. Second and four. Clock approaching the two minute mark here in the second quarter. UNCP down by 10. Second and four at the UNCP 39. Braves offense attacking left to right. Three motions near side to far side. Two far side, one near side. Jones out of the pistol. Sheridan behind him. Play action, roll out right. Jones dumps it off to three at the 35. Is behind the line of scrimmage. Pinballs off of a few defenders and gets back to the original line of scrimmage at the 39. No gain, no loss. Third and four. And I think either way here for UNCP, you want to run off some clock because if you don't get the first down here, you don't want to give... Carson Newman much time to get things going offensively. It's a third and four, minute 26 to go. UNCP, two timeouts to go. Carson Newman, all three. The Eagles, a 10-point edge on UNC Pembroke. Nine to snap for Jones. Three far side, one near side. Sheridan to Jones' is right. Straight drop looks to throw. Overshot Diab, who reached out and could not haul it in. Ball hits the turf. Clock stops 110, and UNCP will have to boot it away. Smith in coverage for the Eagles. Isaac Parks. On for his third punt of the game. 1.10 to go in this first half. Again, Carson Newman gets the ball to start the second half. They lead 13-3. to Braves defense just stopped the Eagles for the first time this afternoon on their previous drive. They look to do the same. Desmond Farrell lined up at his own 25. Spiraling kick sends Farrell backtracking over the shoulder. Grab is made inside the 10, and he is swarm brought down at the six-yard line. Great kick coverage by UNCP. Maybe not the best decision by Farrell to catch that ball, but the Braves now force the Eagles to work deep inside their own territory. 
And they'll start with it at their own six. Worst starting field position of the game for Carson Newman. and I won't be shocked if head coach Mike Turner elects to just pack it in and head into the locker room with a 10 score lead, 10 point lead. Eagles offense breaks their sideline huddle. They'll go 21 personnel. Makarov shifts to the left side of the line. Two running backs set behind Evans under center at his own six. First and 10. Handoff up the middle. It's Winbush. Winbush up to the 11. Gain of five. 50 seconds to go in the second quarter. quarter. UNCP by no means out of this. They played solid football offensively. Just have to finish those drives. They've been able to move the ball, getting a lot of third down situations, though. I think it's going to start with running the football a little bit better in this second half. Under 30 seconds to go. Second and six. So an 11 Winbush and around to the right side. Thrown down in the backfield. Dominique Davis, the NFL prospect for UNCP. The tackle at the line of scrimmage. And that should do it for the first half of play. Carson Newman won't run a play. They'll stand on the field. It's 13 to three. Eagles in front here in the first half. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, now one. And both teams will head to the locker room. We have a ball game, folks. 10 point deficit for UNC Pembroke. Very much still in this one. Offense looking to get things going, put some points on the board. The defense, they've certainly improved as that first half progressed. We'll give you some stats here. UNCP being outgained 160 to 96 in terms of total yardage. They're out throwing Carson Newman 73 to 13. But as expected, the Eagles finding success on the ground, 147 rushing yards. Both their touchdowns were on the ground as well. One courtesy of the freshman Troy Denty and the senior Marcus Williams from four yards out. Josh Jones, an efficient performance in the first half, 11 for 16 with 73 yards. But again, the difficulty for UNCP has been running the ball. Just 23 rushing yards. Josh Sheridan paces the offense, eight carries, 30 yards on the ground for UNCP. Once again, it's 13 to three. We're through 30 minutes of action here from Burke Tar Stadium. We'll take a break here in Jefferson City when we get back some more stats storylines and a little preview of what to expect possibly in the second half of action so don't go anywhere you're listening to UNC Pembroke football here on the UNCP Sports Network Braves head into the locker room trailing 13 to 3 When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. Don't just throw a tailgate, own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time here.
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Carson Newman University's President, Dr. Charles Fowler, and the Carson Newman Department of Music, it is our honor to perform at halftime for you today. Late on to the deal by drum major Noah Faber, would you please welcome back the 2019 Carson Newman University Marching Eagles. Today's halftime presentation by the Marching Eagles, Latin Journeys, is a salute to some of the most exciting Latin jazz standards of all time. The Marching Eagles open today's show with a song popularized by the Duke Ellington Orchestra. Here is Caravan. The Marching Eagles continue their journey with Chick Corea's Spain, featuring soloists math major Elaine Bricky on trumpet and Raven Aiken on mellophone.
When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. Don't just throw a tailgate, own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. Don't just throw a tailgate, own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. Mm-mm. Bojangles, Cajun filet biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddar pimento cheese on our Cajun Spice Chicken. It's perfecter. Bojangles. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn. An ally working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. Mm-mm. Bojangles, Cajun filet biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun filet biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddar pimento cheese on our Cajun spice chicken. It's perfecter. Bojangles. It's bow time, bro. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care 
Don't just throw a tailgate. Own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. Thirteen to three to three, the score in this first half. UNCP trailing, five minutes away from the second half of action. Big thank you to all of you for joining us here on the UNCP Sports Network. It's been a beautiful day for some football, and the day started off very well for UNCP, driving downfield and scoring at a field goal in their opening drive. Hunter Braswell is now four for four in the season, but. The offense kind of stalled out since then. And the defense, so well, they struggled early on, giving up back-to-back -back rushing scores and back-to-back -back Eagles possessions. But they have made some improvements, certainly as that first half went on. And you could be assured that UNCP out of the second half will look to continue to improve things defensively. You look back to last week against Limestone. The Braves gave up 170 rushing yards against the Saints in that first half. And they were much improved in the second half. In the third quarter, Limestone did not have a single rushing yard. And they'll look to obviously replicate that to some degree here against Carson Newman. 13 to three, Eagles in front. Four minutes to go until we kick things off for the second half. It'll be Carson Newman football coming out of the gates. And you know, the Eagles don't lose very often at home against non-conference teams. UNCP, of course, being independent, and while they do play a, a sack schedule, not a part of the conference, Eagles 18-4 and four in non-conference home games over the last decade. And one of those four losses did come to UNCP back in 2011. It was on homecoming as well. It was the last time UNCP won a game here. And UNCP now making their way out of their locker room from the baseball field just beyond the visiting side bleachers here at Burke Tar Stadium. Really nice backdrop here in eastern Tennessee, UNCP. Now sprinting out onto the field. They trail it by 10. It'll be their defense starting things off first, trying to get the Eagles off the field. And then UNCP's offense will look to put together some offense since that first drive. Not much going for them, and I think it starts at least with running the football. Just 23 rushing yards in that first half for the Braves. 30 for Josh Sheridan, but Josh Jones was sacked. He has a loss of 10 yards rushing. Uh, but again, running the ball just has not been there for UNCP, and that has also kind of limited things in the passing attack. And while Josh Jones has been efficient, 11 for 16, just 73 yards through the air. By the way, this game going by extremely quickly, and I guess that's what you can kind of expect when you have a team like Carson Newman that runs the ball as frequently as they do. But on UNCP's first drive when they scored a field goal, it was a 17-play drive that took off 9 minutes and 32 seconds from the clock. The Braves at times this season have played very up-tempo and have had some quick drives, but they've also had their fair share of drives that have taken up time, and their opening drive today was certainly that. They score first for the fifth time this season. They have scored first in all five games this year. 13-3 is the score. Carson Newman in front of your UNCP Braves kick off in two minutes. We'll take a quick break. When we get back, we'll bring you the action live from Burke Tar Stadium in Jefferson City, Tennessee. This is UNC Pembroke Braves football on the UNCP Sports Network. Don't just throw a tailgate. Own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? 
feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20 piece big bow box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn, an ally working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors, a blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart, a winner recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards, and of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health Nurses are many things to many people, but to us, they're simply better by far. Mm-mm, Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddary pimento cheese on our Cajun Spice Chicken. It's perfecter. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. We'll get things started back up here in the second half. Ball teed up by Hunter Braswell. UNCP in the hole by 10, 13 to three. Carson Newman in front. Braves won the coin toss to start the game. They elected to receive. They put up three points via Braswell field goal. Now the lefty boots it away. Low kick, end over end. Returnable from the eight yard line. Bouncing outside towards the 15, out of the 20. Tamsir Sek almost tripped him up. And Rayshon Griffin hit from behind. No flag comes out at the 30. And up to the 29, Mike Clark able to make the tackle. Art Bridges return sets up the Eagles with a first and 10 from their own 29 yard line. It's an Eagles offense that posted 160 total yards in the first half, 147 of which came on the ground. Derek Evans under center. Antonio Wimbush split back to his left. Williams to his right, one receiver each side of the formation. They give it to Wimbush up the middle. First play across midfield. Wimbush to the 40, 45, 30, 35. Tracked down inside the 20 by Devin Jones. Big run on the first play of the second half. They'll mark it all the way down to the 18 yard line. Gain of 43 on the rush for the All-American senior. Eagles lead by 10. This time along the right side. Hand off up the gut to Williams. Results in a pair. Up to the 16 yard line. Second and seven. Antonio Winbush, just such a dangerous player. You give him any sort of breathing room and the thing is with this offense, you don't know which angle is going to be coming at you. That's how they went up the middle. They've been working them on the edges as well. 13.40 to go, 13-3 to three Eagles. They have a second and seven at the UNCP 17. Speed option left side, flip back to Williams. Cuts it inside up to the 11-yard line. And it results in a third down at about a yard and a half. Luke Brooks, the Pembroke native on the tackle. Third down and about two for the Eagle offense. 13 minutes to go. You figure the way their offense operates, this might even be a four down situation for them. Wimbush to the left of Evans under center. Williams to his right. They go into the power back and Williams stood up at the line and dragged the defender forward. This will be close to the sticks. Yard to gain was eight yard line. Lowry and the tackle. 
And they'll mark it as a first down. First and goal for Carson Newman, eight yards away from Pater. They lead 13 to three. Braves looking to keep the Eagles out of the end zone. Evans looks to his sideline, the lefty quarterback. Resets beyond the center, Jordan Seal. Hand off to Winbush, off right tackle, spun down to the backfield. Taverine blew that play up before it could even get started. Loss of a yard. Second and goal. Jaramillo in there to finish off the tackle as well, but it's Taverine the first to get there. How about Vereen last week? Team high seven tackles, one and a half tackles for loss. Really making a name for himself alongside Dominique Davis. That's one of the strengths of this UNCP defense, the interior on the defensive line that it showed off right there. Under 12 to go in the third quarter. Second and goal motioned out to the left now. And Evans keeps it himself. Throws in the slant to Winbush. Excuse me, West, Westfield's bobbled and caught it on his way down. It's a touchdown for Carson Newman. As he was falling back down, that ball settled into his hands. And the Eagles with a passing touchdown. 19 to three, they lead it. 11.46 to go in the third, an eight yard strike. And Westfield hauls in his fifth touchdown catch of the season. Kraft done for the extra point. Perfect on the season, 13 for 13. Make that 14 for 14. Extra point is through, 20 to 13. Carson Newman scores a touchdown, puts on the extra point to open up the second half, a three minute, 14 second drive for the Eagles. Now the UNCP offense will look to respond. Derek Evans, two for four, 21 yards. And with that pass now has a touchdown. That's his seventh touchdown pass of the season. The offense doesn't throw the ball all too much, but got some motion going offensively there. Opened up the Braves defense. And Westfield, the 6'4", sophomore, which great size, just able to body Devin Jones in coverage and catch it off the deflection. Both teams head back out onto the fields, and this becomes a must-score drive for UNCP. You're looking touchdown for the Braves as they trail it by 17. Still early in the second half, plenty of football left to be played. But just the way this game has been going, it's a must-score drive right here for the visiting Braves. Devin Jones stands at his own end zone. Hasn't had the chance to return anything today. It's been all touchbacks for Nate Kraft, the freshman. Kraft, a few steps back, over to his left, checks his teammates, steps up, approaches the ball, boots it away, high end over end kick to Jones, two yards deep in the end zone, and he knees it between the A and the G in the end zone. UNCP once again will start off at their own 25 yard line. Braves able to march downfield in the first drive of the game. They scored a field goal. Now we'll see what they can do. First drive for the second half, come out of the locker room. A lot of times those drives are scripted too, and the Braves have found success on their first drives of seasons. They've scored first now in all five games this year. Three motion to the near side, two near side, one far side, first and 10 at the UNCP 25. Sheridan, uh, the halfback dive up the gut, push to the outside and left of the line, nothing going for the senior out of Lumberton. Daniel Dixon Brooks, he's been all over the place defensively. And he makes the tackle at the line on Sheridan. Second and 10. UNCP now being outgained 231 to 96. Trailed by 17, 11, 12 to go in the third. Five receivers sent for Jones from the far hash mark at his own 25. Second and 10 as he steps up to the line. Carson Newman quickly adjusting as they send Demarcus Jones back deep and the UNCP 40. Jones flushed out to his right. Tucks and runs, looks downfield. He'll keep it himself and picks up maybe a foot on the run. Not much time there for Josh Jones 
And that sets up another third down and long for UNC Pembroke. They have not had many third and manageables today. And that really stems from that difficulty for them of running the football today. Have not been successful on the ground. And that's backed him up. Rayshawn Griffin at running back to the right of Jones, who's in the shotgun. Trips bunched on the far side of the formation. Braves going left to right. Jones from the near hash mark. Third and long. Jones rolls out left. Looking downfield. He'll tuck and run once more towards the first down sticks. Needed to get to the 35. He might have done it. And he did. Josh Jones with his legs. Big run for the sophomore QB. Felt the pressure come behind him as he was flushed out by Presley. And he keeps the drive going for UNCP. Under 10 minutes to go, 20 to three, Carson Newman in front. Braves with it at their own 40, first and 10. Griffin to the right of Jones in the shotgun from the far hash mark. One far side, three receivers near side. Jones fakes the handoff, looks over the middle, now rolls right. Being harassed as he floats it downfield to the 40 and it's called in by McDonald. Chalk that up for a gain of six, second down and four. Good throw by Josh Jones, but there's just been nothing open downfield today for UNCP. The longest pass completion ended up being called back due to offensive interference. Quay three leading the way. Receivers four catches, 22 yards, second and five. Jones turns and turns and hands to Griffin on the right side of the line, extending forward a yard and a half as he is shoved back. Alonzo Houston in on the tackle. Now third and manageable for UNCP, third and four. Sheridan checks in, Griffin to the sideline. 20 to 13, Carson Newman in front, UNCP. A must score drive. They'll actually move the ball forward a yard. So now it's third down and two. Options for UNCP. They go three far side. It's McDonald, three. And Carter stacked to the left of the line. Now McDonald sprints over on the near side. Two far side, one near side. And whistles blown. Timeout taken, Time Carson Newman. Carson Newman. It's their first charge timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. 20 to 13, Carson Newman leads your UNC Pembroke Braves. 8.20 to go in the third quarter here from Burke Tar Stadium. You're listening to UNCP Football on the UNCP Sports Network. Don't just throw a tailgate, own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. Mm-mm, Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust. Third and two for UNCP. Jones rolls left. Completed to Sean Brown across the 45 up to the 47. Gain of four. That moves the chains for UNC Pembroke as they convert on third down once again. Braves down 20 to three, eight minutes to go. Clock rolling here in the third quarter. John Gross coming to you live from Burke Tar Stadium here in Jefferson City, Tennessee. McDonald near side, too far side. Nixon at H back to the right of the line. Sheridan behind Jones, gets the handoff, spins away from one. Sheridan across the 50. Makes his way up to the 48 yard line. One of the better runs UNCP has had today. Gain of six. I'll say it's five, second and five for UNC Pembroke. Starting to run the ball a little bit better on this drive between Jones at that 10 yard rush, Sheridan carries for five there. Able to spin out a one would be tackler as Jones gets a breather, Quan Williams checks in. That should till it. And as well inside give to Quad Williams, hits a hole. 
Williams with breathing room up to the 41 and a first down for UNCP. Gain of seven for the senior captain for the Braves, making their way into Carson Newman territory. They trail it by 17. Sam Vines, pistol set, lined up behind Josh Jones. Three motioned to the left side of the formation. Two far side, one near side. And up the middle goes Vines. Again, spins out of a tackle. UNCP's backs evading tackles much better here in the second half. And that was a physical run up to the 34-yard line. Gain of seven. Second and four. Jacob Varney in the stop for Carson Newman. Second down for UNCP. They have it between the hash marks at the 34-yard line of Carson Newman. Down 17, needing a score. Bunch set near side with three receivers, one far side. Jones floats it over the middle. Wide open man is McDonald's. Hauls it in at the 10, into the end zone. Marcus McDonald, touchdown UNC Pembroke. 34 yards, and the Braves are right back in this one. McDonald's wide open past the second level, and UNCP trails it by 11. First touchdown catch of the season for McDonald's as Braswell comes on for the extra point. Braves hustling a player in there late. They have seven seconds to get this extra point off. Four, three, two, one, and the snap comes as the clock is expiring. Kick is through from Braswell as Farrell had a beat on it, couldn't get his fingertips on it. Big play for UNCP. Braves now down by 10, 5.54 to go. 34 yards, Josh Jones to Marcus McDonald, and the Braves Find themselves back in it here. Carson Newman will get the football back, leading 20 to 10. You're listening to UNCP football on the UNCP Sports Network. Mm-mm. Bojangles, Cajun filet biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddary pimento cheese on our Cajun Spice Chicken. It's perfecter. Bojangles. It's bow time, bro. A much needed touchdown for UNCP. Their first of the game. Josh Jones hooks up with Marcus McDonald. 34 yards to the house and UNCP trails it by 10. So now it goes on to the Braves defense. 5.54 to go in the third quarter. Can UNCP's D get a stop? Braswell comes on to kick it away for UNC Pembroke. Marcus Williams back deep to receive alongside Ray Arterbridge. Braswell set to boot it away left to right. UNCP all white jersey with gold letters and numbers. Braswell the lefty from the near hash mark. Braswell has it teed up at the 35. Trots up to the football and with 5.54 to go, a high kick is fair caught at the 32 yard line by Romain Kelly. Pretty good field position for Carson Newman to get things started. Eagles now lead it by 10, but you're getting to a point of the game where 5.54 to go, they can try to run some clock and doesn't necessarily have to be intentionally on the, their part because they do run the football uh, as frequently as they do the clock will run, but they take their time a little bit more. They've shown some no huddle offensively. UNCP's defense though, Looking to shut them down and give their offense another chance to make this a one-score football game. First and 10 at the 33. Evans under center, two back split behind him. Evans straight drop to throw for the first time today. Over the middle, Romain Kelly, one-handed snag in stride. 
up to the 15 he is tackled. What a catch with the left hand extended. Kelly makes the grab. Evans with a straight drop to throw for the first time today. And UNCP wasn't ready for it. Romaine Kelly. That one should be on Sports Center. All the way down to the 15 of UNCP. 20 to 10, Carson Newman. Approaching the five minute mark here in the third quarter. Inside give to Johnson, lowers the shoulder, lays the boom up to the seven. Picks up about eight yards. That's a 52 yard completion from Derek Evans to Romaine Kelly. Evans now three for five, 73 yards. Second down and three. At the UNCP eight. Evans under center, option to the left side, gives it to Winbush, pushes the pile for a first down up to the four. First and goal, Carson Newman. UNCP brings in their goal line defense. First and goal, 420 remaining here in the third quarter. UNCP trying to hold Carson Newman to the very least a field goal. Evans under center, Winbush back to his left. Gets the carry off right tackle. Winbush flattened at the one yard line, gain of three. Jordan Howard in the stop for Pembroke. Second goal down to the one. Carson Newman ready up by 10. Braves stack the line. Evans keeps himself behind the left guard, pushing, shoving. And the ball crosses the plane, a touchdown for Carson Newman. Quarterback keeper goes for one yard and a score. 26 to 10, Carson Newman back up by 16. And it was the 52 yard pitch and catch from Evans to Romaine Kelly in a one handed snag with a left hand. That really sparked this drive. Kraft on for the point after. Currently a two score game, extra point would make it a three score game. Good snap, good hold, kick is up and through. 27 to 10 with 3.45 to go in the third quarter. Carson Newman back in front to the pressure, goes back to the UNCP offense. Braves down 17, getting the football back after this. Mm-mm, Bojangles, Cajun filet biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddary pimento cheese on our Cajun Spice Chicken. It's perfecter. Bojangles. It's bow time, bro. Of your this Monday, 5 to 8 p.m. at Zaxby with the Cardinal and Spirit team and Callum the Eagle. Five plays, 67 yards. Took two minutes, nine seconds. A one-yard rushing score by the quarterback, Derek Evans, gives Carson Newman a three-score lead, 27 to 10. 3.45 to go in the third. But UNCP will get the football back. Fresh after scoring their first touchdown of the game. Strong kick from the righty, and Devin Jones won't even attempt to get there. Kicked out of the back of the end zone. Is five for five. And once again, the Braves will have to start. Braves will again start with it at their own 25. Kraft has kicked off five times. All five have gone for touchbacks. UNCP down 17. The story remains the same. They have to score a touchdown in this drive to keep their chances going. Still time in the third quarter. Obviously the whole fourth quarter too, but opportunities have been far and few today. Jones, quick slant to three. Caught near the first down sticks at the 35, and that'll be enough to move the chains. Quay three is 
fifth catch of the game. That's the most out of any player today. On either side, that's a first down for UNCP. Josh Jones remaining consistent offensively. 15 for 20, 126 through the air and a touchdown. First and 10, UNCP at their own 35 between the hashes. Braves attacking left to right. Three near side, running back to the right at Jones in the shotgun. It's Quad Williams, fakes the handoff, floated over the middle, overshot his man, and it's picked off at midfield by Demarcus Jones. His return gets him to the 45, and a flag comes in late. Josh Jones and Carter streaking over the middle of the field, fairly open, overshot him. And it's the first turnover of the game for UNCP. We'll see what the flag is. After the return, black in the back, sorry, black in the back on the return team, 10 yards from that spot, first down, Carson Newman. Back things up 10 yards for Carson Newman. Block in the back as they show the replay on the Jumbotron here at Burke Tar. The the There's a little bit of a window for Jones to fit that in, but he just threw it over the head of Carter. And Demarcus Jones was there, his first pick of the season. The backup safety getting extended playing time today. Eagles lead 27 to 10, back with the football. 3.04 to go in the third corner. Evans under center, checks to the sideline. Two receivers far side. It's Kelly on the far sideline who made that 52 yard grab and Westfield to the far slot. Hand off up the gut, the dive. 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown. Dendy, the rushing score is second of the afternoon and just like that, Carson Newman. Breaking things open, 33 to 10 the score. 2.54 to go, a 56 yard rushing touchdown for Troy Dendy. Just directly through the heart of the UNCP defense and the Braves now trail it by 23. Just a few minutes ago, this is a 10 point ball game. Kraft's extra point. Hold down, kick, good, 34 to 10. Carson Newman all over UNC Pembroke here in the third quarter. And this is fairly reminiscent of what we saw last year. It was the second half where Carson Newman really asserted themselves, especially limiting UNCP offensively, and they got their offense going last year, and they're doing the same again. We'll take a quick break here from Carson Newman University. Braves trail it by 24, 254 to go in the third. You're listening. UNCP football and the UNCP Sports Network. Don't just throw a tailgate, own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. A 56-yard rushing touchdown for Troy Dendy. Extends the Carson Newman lead, 24-point advantage for the home side. It's 34 to 10. And the sixth kickoff attempt is the sixth touchback for the freshman. Kraft again pinning UNCP to the 25. So after the interception by Josh Jones, we'll see what the Braves offense has in store. Jones lines up at the gun. Quad Williams to his right, three near side. It's Marcus McDonald's closest to us. Eric Price to his left. 
One receiver far side as well. Quay three to the near slot as well. First and 10, 25 yard line. They hand it off to Williams behind the left guard. Williams evades one tackler and is spun down at the 29 yard line. Gain of four on the carry. Rondro Peebles on the tackle. Second and six for the Braves. The trail by 24, two and a half to go, clock ticking in the third quarter. Jones again out of the shotgun, bunch set near side with three receivers. Jones goes to the opposite side along the far sideline. Cut Justin Bounds at the 33. That's a gain of two on the catch by Trey Dixon. Third and three. Braves look going for the sideline. It's Rayshon Griffin at running back for UNCP. McDonald positions on the near sideline. Now starts to work, walk towards the formation. Two receivers near side, two far side, as all four now split out wide. Running back to the left to Jones to the shotgun and a must get third and three. Jones quick out to Eric Price and on the far sideline, it's bobbled and dropped. Would have been a gain of four, now it's fourth and three and UNCP will stay out there to go for it. Nope, now they'll bring out the punt unit. Braves offense, the three and out Isaac Parks. Hunt to boot it away for UNCP. Rayshon Griffin hovers over the football, the long snapper with Desmond Farrell back deep to receive at his own 25. Parks, ample time to get it off. A booming kick sends Farrell angling back to his own 20. He receives it there, stumbles, forced towards the far sideline and walks out of out to the 21. Gain of about a yard on the run back. So we'll see the car zoom in offense. Explosive, that's been the name of the game in the second half for them. A 56 yard rushing touchdown a 52-yard catch and run. That's two of the big plays that we've seen from them today. And we'll get a change at the quarterback position. Tyler Thackerson in with Carson Newman up by 24 points, 34 to 10. Thackerson, the 6'2 junior, steps in under center, relieving Derek Evans. First and 10 of the 20. Along the right side, Thackerson gives it a dive. And a gain to two on the carry for Toot Johnson. By the way, that's one of the better names. Uh, for Toot is his nickname, but uh, that is awesome. Armio on the stop, getting to see some of the backups now for Carson Newman. They lead 35 to 10, a minute to go in the third quarter. Thackerson settles under center, one receiver near side. Speed option to the left. Thackerson runs out of real estate and gives himself up Thackerson at the line of scrimmage. Third and eight. Third and eight from the Eagles' own 22. They lead it by 24. Approaching 30 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. We haven't even reached the two hour mark of this one. Things moving pretty quickly this afternoon. Thackerson under center. Roll out to the right, looks to throw, comes back the opposite way and a screen pass. It's caught at the 25, racing across the 30, now to the 40. Across midfield, blockers downfield, hurtling over one defender, wrestled down at the 31 of UNCP is Sharon Jackson. Another big chunk play for Carson Newman, this time coming on third down, and that'll take us to the fourth quarter, up to the 33 of UNCP. It's 34 to 10, Carson Newman on top. 15 minutes to go here from Burke Tar Stadium. This is UNC Pembroke football on the UNCP Sports Network. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer, touching patients' lives at every turn an ally, working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner, recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. 
Scotland Health Nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. Mm-mm. Bojangles, Cajun filet biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddary pimento cheese on our Cajun Spice Chicken. It's perfecter. Bojangles. It's bow time, bro. Start of the fourth quarter, teams will switch sides. Carson Newman now moving the football left to right, attacking the right end zone. They have a first and 10 at the UNCP 32. They ended the third quarter, a 47 yard screen pass to Sharon Jackson. To the backup, Thackerson under center. To Johnson split to his right with Jackson over to his left. Two receivers on the far side of the formation. Sprint down to the right side. It's fumbled in the lateral, and it's scooped up by UNCP. Tiptoeing along the sideline, racing towards the end zone is Jordan Howard. 10-5, touchdown, UNC Pembroke. And the Braves defense a scoop and a score. That's his second career scoop and score. Had one back in 2017. And UNCP has 16. Braves down by 18, 14 41 to go in this fourth quarter. But that was a big play for the UNCP defense. And the Braves going to go for two. Two-point conversion would make this a two-possession game. They currently trail by 18. Tight set on the formation. Jones in the shotgun working for the near hash mark. Travis Prince motion to his right. Jones designed rollout. Steps up. Has space. Wide open. Back of the end zone. Trey Dixon. Two-point conversion successful at UNCP within two scores, 34 to 18, with 14:41 to go in the fourth quarter. Could that scoop and score be the spark that UNCP needs? Well, the defense will certainly need to get a couple more stops, but that'll help bring him back within striking distance. If they show the replay here at the stadium, Thackerson just outside of the reach of Jackson. He was scooped up at the 35 by Jordan Howard, tiptoed the sideline 65 yards with green in front. And UNCP trails it out by 16 as we'll take a media timeout here from Carson Newman. Don't go anywhere, still a ball game. 14.41 to go in the fourth quarter. Don't just throw a tailgate, own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. UNCP after the scoop and score by Jordan Howard. They trail it by 16, 34 to 18. The score, 14, 41 to go in the fourth quarter. Hunter Braswell lines up to kick this one away. Be shocked to see UNCP try to sneak an onside kick in there. And now Carson Newman will adjust to it. At the middle of the field, it's wide open, but they'll move a couple players more towards the middle. Braswell the lefty steps up to the football, kicking to our right. A short kick will bounce around the 30, caught by Makarov down the far sideline. 10 yard return up to the 40. And that's where Carson Newman will start with it. Where we'll have Another 
That is John James for the tackle for the Braves. UNCP trails it, 34-18, 14-36 to go. Still life for the Braves, but they need to get a stop here. Now we saw the backup in for Derek Evans. It was Tyler Thackerson who made the errant pitch, which ended up being housed by Jordan Howard, and Thackerson will stay in the game, but a whistle timeout. before he can come Carson out. Carson Newman, it's your second charge, timeout of the half. Second charge, timeout of the half. For the Eagles. Let's run through some stats as we get things started in the fourth quarter. Eagles, 400 total yards, 280 on the ground, 120 through the air. UNCP, just 188 yards of offense. Josh Jones, 16 for 23, 129, one touchdown and one interception. That pick, just his second interception of the season for the sophomore quarterback out of Wilmington. And that throw just a little bit high and you know, Carson Newman able to capitalize off of it, but at this point of the game, the defense has to get a stop. They have struggled prior to that scoop and score in the second half and not gotten a, a single stop. And there's some big plays, a 56 yard rushing touchdown by Troy Dendy, a 52 yard catch by Romaine Kelly was a one handed snag as he seeped past the defense. First and 10 of their own 40. Karov motions to the near side of the formation. Eagles going left to right. Thackerson hands it off up the gut. Gain Carlos of five. A hit to the back of the Eagle head. That's the north 45 yard line. Tackle up to the 45. Line, second Harry down Payne. and five. And Brian five Payne on the Eagles. carry. 14-14 to go, clock rolling. 34-18, Carson Newman in the driver's seat. It's an experienced offensive line as well. Four of the five starters today, seniors. The only non-star to the right tackle, Dylan Wilson, junior. Thackerson goes left side. Oh, kept it up the middle, it's Dandy. Rushing through the secondary inside the 20, 15, 10, down towards the five. Troy Dendy breaking another big run for Carson Newman. First and goal up to the six. 49 yards on the rush by the freshman. Eagles up by 16, a chance to add to that. Can the Braves defense force a turnover down here? They forced one of the last drive. Dackerson under center. Motions the tight end to the left of the formation from the six. Handoff along left tackle. Into the end zone for a touchdown. It's Dimitri Salisbury, the senior running back. And right back. Go the Eagles, up by three scores, 40 to 18. Carson Newman up 23 with 12.55 to go. A six yard rush for the senior back. Kraft on for the PAT. Good snap, good holds, good kick. 41-18, Carson Newman, 12.55 to go. Braves offense, we get the football back. You're listening to UNCP Football on the UNCP Sports Network. Mm-mm, Bojangles, Cajun Filet Biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddar pimento cheese on our Cajun Spice Chicken. It's perfecter. Bojangles. It's bow time, bro.
Three plays, all it took for Carson Newman. Dimitri Salisbury caps off the 60-yard drive that took a minute 46 off the clock. We have 12.55 to go in the final quarter. 41-18, Carson Newman leading your UNCP Braves. And Kraft again, touchback. Seventh kickoff and a seventh touchback. Had offers from Louisiana Monroe, Marshall, Arizona, New Mexico State coming out of high school, but the freshman settles on Carson Newman and he's made an impact. First and 10 UNCP starting once again at their own 25 yard line. Jones from the shotgun, five receivers set, three far side, two on the near sideline. From the near hash mark, UNCP attacks right to left, starting with it at their own 25. Jones takes the snap, looks, rolls right, spun out of one tackle, now steps up at the 18, fires downfield looking for Sean Brown. And it's incomplete over his head. Farrell in coverage. Second and 10, 12.46 to go. UNCP back at home next weekend. It's homecoming as the Braves play host to the Mars Hill Lions. Another sack opponent. Braves look to get things back on track. Right now they trail by 23, 12.46 to go. Jones looks to throw. Quick out on the near side to Carter. Evades one tackler up towards the 30, gains four, third and six. Next week, obviously another opportunity for UNCP. We've seen some things today that have been good from the Braves again. Able to start the game off strong. They score first for the fifth straight game. Josh Jones again pretty consistent through the air, 17 to 25. Third and six. Jones to throw once more. Third time of this set of downs. Comes near side. It's picked off for the 35. Inside the 25, brought down at the 20. Second pick thrown by Josh Jones, and it's Ray Arterbridge on the receiving end. Josh Jones entered today, just one interception on the season in his first four games, has two picks on the afternoon. He's not had much time today, and the Carson Newman defense has done a fine job, and, and nationally, they're a top 20, top 15 passing defense. It's Thackerson still in there. Saw Derek Evans to the sideline. His uniform is off. So it's Thackerson for the rest of this one. The inside handoff to Dendy. Makes his way up to the 19. So he down to the 14. Gain five, second and five. 41 18, under 12 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Thackerson under center, split back behind him, two backs, two receivers lined up in the far side. Thackerson to the near hash. Inside give, Salisbury. Bringing Dominique Davis with him up to the six yard line. That'll move the chains. Just a constant flurry of rushes for Carson Newman, and it's not easy to stop them. Few teams have much success at shutting them down. Really, the only team this year to do that was, was Wingate. And in that game, Carson Newman kind of completely changed their game plan. They aired the ball out more so than, than you'll ever see a Mike Turner offense do so. Four touchdown tosses for Evans in that game as the handoff goes to Jackson. He's into the end zone. Behind the right guard, a six yard rush. Sharon Jackson and some pushing and shoving after the play. Both teams being hurried over to their respective sidelines by the officials. 47-18, Carson Newman in front. Over your UNCP Braves, 10.46 to go here in the fourth quarter. 359 rushing yards after the six yard score by Sharon Jackson.
Graft has been as consistent as they get kicking the football today, and he stays that way. Extra point. Splits the uprights, 48-18, 10.46 to go. Folks, keep in mind, this was a game that late in the third quarter was 20 to 10, Carson Newman. And you got the sense, okay, UNCP down by 10, they have a real chance in this one. But their offense kind of sputtered a bit and, and the defense could not get the stops that they needed. Only stop they've had in the second half was that scoop and score on the fumble Jordan Howard took to the house 65 yards. We'll see the UNCP offense again as Kraft will head out to boot this away. He's had seven kickoffs, seven touchbacks. Devin Jones now standing about four yards deep in his own end zone. Funny, he started the game when, when the opening kickoff happened. He was getting situated around the five yard line as progressively just backed up more, knowing that Kraft is probably going to boot it into the end zone. Kraft starts his trot from his own 27, approaches the 35 end over end booming kick. He is over the head of Devin Jones. He almost put it through the uprights. Braves trail it by 30, 10.46 to go. And these are the times you're going up against a really good defense. You can work on some things and try to work out some of the issues. And we'll actually get a quarterback change. Rodney Smith making his UNCP debut. The day is done for Josh Jones. Smith has never attempted a pass. In fact, in high school, predominantly was a wide receiver. But we'll see what he can do here. Getting a different look as the Richard freshman quarterback fires to the far sideline, caught by three, and it's he's lit up as it pops out of his hands, picked off by Farrell into the end zone, and an improbable touchdown. Uh, we'll see if they call that a forced fumble and a fumble recovery or an interception. I think that it was caught, and then the hit was laid on Quay three as he hauled it in, popped out of his hands directly into the hands of Desmond Farrell, who makes his way into the end zone, 54-18. Wow, what a play defensively. And they'll call it an interception. Desmond Farrell, a pick six, 27 yards into the house. Extra point from Kraft, knocked through. 55-18, the most points UNCP has allowed this season. Carson Newman, a 37-point lead, and that time it was the defense that was able to make the play. A great awareness by Desmond Farrell. As the hit was laid on Quay 3, had it in his hands, popped out, and like a gift, during the holiday season, delivered right to Desmond Farrell. Ten and a half to go, UNCP got the football back. This is a game that uh, took about an hour 15 to get through the first two quarters. Things slowing up a little bit, just with all the stoppages, a bunch of scores for Carson Newman in the second half. It was 20 to three at halftime. Since then, 35 points on the board for the Eagles to 15 for UNCP. Again, late third quarter, the Braves had a shot. It was 20 to 10, Carson Newman in front, a 10 point game. But from there, the wheels kind of just fell off for UNCP. Ninth kickoff attempt. Jones, five yards deep, will take it out. Won't give Kraft the touchback as he comes along the near side, hurried out of bounds at the 24 yard line. So we'll see what Rodney Smith can do in his second drive. So his first pass at the collegiate ranks, intercepted, taken to the end zone. Smith in high school. The Monroe, North Carolina native, an all-county wide receiver, 29 catches, 30, 300 yards, four touchdowns. 
He gives a different look, a really athletic player. Two receivers far side, two near side. Blitz comes up the middle, and Smith lost the football as he was hit. And it is recovered by UNCP. Johnny Varga, the one to fall on it. So a not so nice welcome to the college ranks for Rodney Smith. D'Angelo Blair Young split to the left to Smith in the shotgun. Two receivers far side, two near side. Second and 21 after the loss of 11 in the sack and fumble. Smith, time, goes to the far side, completed to Quay 3. Up towards the original line of scrimmage to the 25. Third to 10. 55-18, Carson Newman, nine and a half to go. Smith in the shotgun, two receivers to his left, two to his right. Running back to his right as well. Raves tacking right to left, have it to their own 25. Third and 10. Smith with time, fires over the middle, through the hands of Dixon, and it's picked off. Over to the 30, brought down at the 30, Jaquan Smith. His first interception of the season, the four-year starter continues to pour it on. 55-18, Carson Newman as they pick off a UNCP throw for the fourth time today. Rodney Smith now two drives, two picks. That was off the hands of Trey Dixon. And really, since that first drive where UNCP was able to get downfield and put up a field goal, it's been dominated by Carson Newman. New quarterback is Micah Young. He predominantly has spent his career a wide receiver. Now a quarterback as he hands it off up the gut, up to the 26 yard line, carries for four. Hogue in the rush for Carson Newman. Both teams emptying out their sidelines. Second and six for Carson Newman. Now they were picked preseason to finish third in the sack and Obviously, Lenore Ryan and Wingate, two ranked teams who have looked great this season, and Carson Newman lost to Wingate in week two, but I don't think this Carson Newman team is that far behind the cream of the crop in the sack. Second and six, handoff, and tackle after a gain of a yard. Devin Cowan able to wrestle him down. Third down and four. Under eight minutes to go, 55-18, Carson Newman leading your UNC Pembroke Braves. Again, UNCP back at home next weekend. It's homecoming. We're expecting a big crowd, a whole lot of great events planned for the whole week of homecoming, of course. But then that Saturday, obviously always a special day. Hope to see plenty of alumni, of UNCP fans, family members, friends on campus to support your Braves. Under center. Spins and turns, handoff up to the 20, pinballing across the 20. And that's a first down rush for Michael Paul, the freshman halfback. Inside the 20, up to the 18. Clock rolling towards seven minutes left in the clock. Mike Young at quarterback. He's only attempted one pass in his career. It was an incompletion. Don't expect to see him throw in here up by 37 points. As he hands it off up the middle, fakes the roll out to the left, carry down to the 12. Davis on the rush. Gain of seven. Second and four, gain of six. Eagles letting this play clock tick down. Still 17 seconds to snap it. When really picking up as this game has progressed, 
It started off temperatures in the low 80s and not much of a breeze at all, but it's getting pretty windy down there. Young under center, two running backs split behind him. And some movement of the line whistle before the snap. Prior to the snap, ball start, offense, number 62, five yard penalty, still second down. That'll back things up. Second down and nine. Carson Newman three yards away from posting 500 total yards of offense. They have 377 rushing yards. Five fifty to go in the ball game. 55-18, Carson Newman. Young gets under center for the Eagles. The third string quarterback for Carson Newman. Motions J.J. Lewis to the left of the formation in the slot. Turns, gives in the backfield. Davis bounces off a few up towards the 10. And he's about two yards shy of the first down marker. Elijah Davis, sophomore back out of Ruskin, Florida. Jace Allen on the stop for the Braves. Third and two. Carson Newman with it at the UNCP 10. They lead by 37. a UNCP team that uh, that game they lost against Virginia State they responded very well the next week against Catawba but they're going up against a tough team today in Carson Newman Young keeps it on the triple option along the right side and moves the chains up to the 7 first down and goal Brooks on the tackle under five minutes to go, 55-18, Carson Newman outscoring UNCP in the second half, 42-15. 21 points in the third, 21 points so far in the fourth, and the Eagles have a chance to add to that. Young under center, turns, hands it off, behind left tackle, diving towards the end zone, and crossing the pylon is Mr. Hope. A seven yard rushing touchdown. 61, 18, Carson Newman. How about that, so they have a two Johnson and a Mr. Hogue. Two guys who would probably be on the uh, college football all name team this season. Both guys could run the ball pretty well as well. Crafts his extra point, up and good. 62-18. Carson Newman at 406 to go. It's a quick break here on the UNCP Sports Network. Don't just throw a tailgate. Own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. Back here at Burke Tar Stadium, 62 to 18. Carson Newman all over UNC Pembroke. As Nate Graff knocks it deep, Tamzir Sek. This time to return it. Took a few steps forward and takes an E on the G of Eagles in the Carson Newman end zone. Rodney Smith, two drives. Two picks and one pick six. His first action as a collegiate player, the backup QB for this UNCP side. 
Lions up in the pistol. Two receivers far side, one near side. Defensive line almost jump, but they'll reset. Smith heads up to the line as five seconds to snap it. Smith turns and hands. And tackle for loss in the backfield. Back to the 22-yard line. Trazel Duradini White on the stop. Second down and 13. Travis Prince lines up to the left. Uh, Rodney, Rodney Smith in the shotgun. Three motions to the far side. On a second and 13, play fake. Smith fires over the middle, overshot Dixon, and it's intercepted once again. Taking it down to the 20, 15, 10, with a convoy in front. Knocked out of bounds at the two yard line is Bernard Scott. Three drives, three picks for Rodney Smith. 62 18, Carson Newman with 310 to go, and they can put the icing on the cake with another score right here. Three picks for Smith, two for Josh Jones. Carson Newman entered today in their first three games. They picked off three passes. Today they've intercepted five. Young gets under center. First and goal at the three. Turns, hands, and stood up at the line of scrimmage by Tavereen is Elijah Davis. No game. It'll be interesting to see how UNCP responds after this one. Really, you look at every game they've played so far this season, they were in all of them. But right here, especially in the second half, Carson Newman just putting the Lincoln on the brave. 62 to 18, under three minutes to go. Young with two running backs split behind him. Second goal at the three, hands off. On the right side, swarms by the Braves defense. No gain for Michael Paul. Actually made a loss to yard. Tackled for loss by UNCP. That's a third and goal now at the four. Oh, we knew it would be a challenge for UNC Pembroke to slow down this Veer option offense. And that's certainly been the case. Third and goal at the four. Two minutes to go in the ball game. 62-18, Carson Newman. Young under center, turns, hands it off to the left side, Elijah Davis. Drags the defender into the end zone. 68-18, a 50-point lead for Carson Newman with 1.48 to go in the fourth quarter. Second rushing score of the night for Davis. I should say the afternoon. Crafts puts through the extra point. 69-18. Carson Newman with a minute 48 to go. We'll see what UNCP does offensively. They send Rodney Smith back out there. Not much to lose at this point, but again, it's Smith's first time playing college football, so you're going to get some growing pains and you know adjustments from playing in practice to in a game. And at the end of the day, even though UNCP they're down 51, you're getting guys in there maybe a little bit younger, a little less experienced, and who knows at some point of the season or at least at some point of their careers, this experience can prove to be valuable for them. Braves have dropped 10 straight games in the road. Looks like they're on their way for 
number 11, 69-18 the score, 148 to go. Tamzir Sek back deep to receive for UNC Pembroke. Kraft standing at his own 27. It's been a touchback extraordinaire today. Heads up to the ball, booms it into the end zone. No return from Sec as it falls just shy of the goalpost. He has quite the leg, especially for a freshman. First and 10 UNCP. At their own 25, Rodney Smith will stay out there. D'Angelo Blair Young at a running back to his left. Trey Dixon near side, two receivers far side. Out of the shotgun. Smith hands off, and Blair Young goes down, dropped for a loss of two at the 23. UNCP returns home next Saturday, a 4 p.m. kickoff against Mars Hill. Coming out, support your Braves. If you're interested in getting tickets, Ahead of time, uncpbraves.com slash tickets. Two receivers far side, one near side, as Smith turns in hands to D'Angelo Blair Young, and again blown up back at UNCP's own 18. Braves 187 total yards. Proud of that play, and they'll mark that down as loss of five, so make that 182 Total yards for UNCP, just 38 rushing yards. Third and 17, 50 seconds to go. Catcher Tillett to the right of the line. Smith hands it off up the middle. Blair Young spins out of a tackle, jukes another. And a shoestring tackle as he extends across the 25, fourth and eight. 30 seconds to go, one second difference between the play clock and the game clock. A couple of UNCP players already walked in the field, they'll have to get back out there, they will have to snap it to avoid a penalty, you might just take the penalty, but in that case they would still have less than a second to go, we'll see what happens. But. The numbers that matter right now, 69-18, Carson Newman takes down UNC Pembroke. They move to five and two all time against the Braves as the clock reaches zero. As big of a second half as you can really possibly have after putting up 13 points in the first half, leading 13 to three at halftime. The Eagles post 56 second half points and hold UNCP to 15 in the second half. They're plus 41 in the second half on the scoreboard. An offensive outburst for the Eagles as they move to three and one UNCP. A losing record for the first time this season at two and three. Eagles surpass the 500 total yard mark, 517 to the ground, and they rush for 397 on the afternoon. That's the most that UNCP has allowed this season. For the Braves, 191 total yards, Josh Jones finishes the day 17 for 26. 133 passing yards, one TD, two interceptions. Rodney Smith, his college debut, one for four, 11 yards and three picks. Josh Sheridan led the way on the ground for the Braves, 10 carries, 35 yards through the air. Six catches for Quay three, he continues to be a major target for UNCP since his return after missing the first two games of the season. Again, UNCP back in action next Saturday, 4 p.m. against Mars Hill College. That's right at home at Grace B. Johnson Stadium. It's homecoming, so come on out, support your Braves, cheer them on against the Lions of Mars Hill. For now, the Braves have to make the five and a half hour trip back to Pembroke. Another week of work and practice as they look to sort things out and move forward from this 69-18 loss at the hands of the Carson Newman Eagles. Well, a big thank you to all of you for sticking with us throughout today's broadcast. From Burke Tar Stadium, I'm John Gross. This has been UNC Pembroke Football. 
on the UNCP Sports Network. Have a great afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. And we'll see you next Saturday at home. It's homecoming. And UNCP takes on Mars Hill. Have a nice day.